Welcome back to the Breakthrough Prize. And now, please welcome back Lucy Holcomb. My father's life was dedicated to finding answers to the biggest questions. He was fascinated not just by the universe, but by life. How did we get here? Are we alone? What is our fate in the cosmos? I'm very pleased to welcome a great friend of my father's and his collaborator in exploring some of those questions, one of the Breakthrough Prize founders, Yuri Milner. The first time I saw Stephen Hawking was at a physics conference in 1987, and he instantly became my hero. His pioneering work on black holes implied something shocking, that information falling into one is lost forever. It's like the universe losing its cell phone, he said recently. I never forgot the impression he made on me that day. His words came through the interpreter, but his character came through loud and clear. His courage, his curiosity, and his honesty. Later, it was that characteristic honesty that he decided that his initial conclusion was wrong. The information in the black hole survives, and the universe does not forget. And neither will we forget Stephen Hawking the scientist and the man. I would now like to introduce the actor whose Oscar-winning performance of Stephen Hawking remains so memorable. So what next? Prove it. The one simple Elegant equation to explain everything. Please welcome Eddie Redmayne. Ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, an extraordinary honor to be here with you this evening. Having the opportunity to meet and spend time with Stephen and his family has genuinely been one of the great, great gifts of my life. As actors, uh, we of course relish playing human beings of complexity and contrast, but there is no human being quite like Stephen Hawking. He was a man of extraordinary power, but also of deep vulnerability. And he had this mind that could soar to the edge of black holes, and yet he also had to slug it out in a grueling daily battle against a cruel, cruel disease. But when I first met Professor Hawking, the thing that blew me away was this other side to him, perhaps not quite as well known as his brilliance and his defiance. Stephen was 1,000% pure showman. So he had this, this glint in his eye, this sort of James Dean quality, and this sense of humor, and this sort of sense of timing that had to be seen to be believed. And by virtue of that extraordinary mind and extraordinary wit, he literally held every single person who met him in the palm of his hand. Professor Hawking was a huge inspiration to me, just as he was and remains an inspiration to people all across the world, young people, older people, people with disabilities, people of science, and people who frankly just are curious about our existence and what that could all mean. So, dearest Stephen,
thank you for it all, sir.